Hey everybody, it's David Newman with another edition of Point Counterpoint. In this segment, let's listen in to Robert Bradford, CSP, and Carolyn Strauss as they unpack the age-old battle, marketing is more important than sales versus sales is more important than marketing. Listen to this one. I have to say that uh, my personal experience comes from really being terrible at selling. And the one thing that I've noticed is that the more I lean into my marketing, the more people call me. And I'm so bad at closing that I actually even don't call some of them back. But the point I want to make is I get plenty of great gigs from people knowing who I am, wanting what I've got, and calling me and saying, hey, can you give me some of that? All I have to say is yes, there is zero sales skill involved in that. And thank goodness that model works for me. So Robert, how do you do that? What do you do for marketing? That's what everybody who's listening wants to know because I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> Let me let me tell you, first of all, I think it's very important to have a lot of material out there that people can find. So you have to be present, visible, findable. In today's world, it's a lot easier to be findable than it was, say, 20 years ago. It's impossible to be heard, though. How do you get findable? You know, if you're a leadership expert, how does somebody find you as opposed to the 500 other people who call themselves leadership experts? Right. I think one of the problems there is people people get, don't get focused enough. If you're just a leadership expert, you're going to be out there duking it out in the marketing arena with people who are going to throw a lot of time and money into building up their presence. They're going to spend more on Google AdWords. They're going to spend more on their website and their social media presence. And that's going to make it very difficult. But if you say I'm a leadership expert for people in the construction industry, those people are going to find you and they're going to say, that's the person I want to talk to. Not the big leadership expert, but the person who says, I know the construction industry and the particular issues you have in my world. So my understanding then is you're putting a lot of stuff out there and hoping. You're, you're in the hope model of, ah, oh, I hope somebody realizes how great I am and they'll call me. Oh, heck no. If you are not getting on the phone, talking to people, let's say you're a leadership person in the construction industry, you need to call the construction associations you need to find out when their meetings are you need to call the corporations you need to get in front of the CEOs and then you need to say okay what do you need where are your problems this is how I can solve them and by the way here's our financial arrangement I mean you got to talk about money and calendaring right you you only have what you have to sell is your time and your talent if two people want your time and your talent on the same day you then have to choose and say no to one of them so if you're just throwing stuff out there hoping the sales will come Really? Well, first of all, I have to say the best gigs I've ever had, we did have a calendar discussion, but we never discussed the fee. They just assumed that the fee was going to be reasonable. And when they got my bill, they were like, okay, that's the fee. Are you kidding me? I'm you don't not get... kidding. <laughs> so that's, really? that's what marketing does for you. It gets someone who wants you so much and is so convinced of your value that they don't even ask what it costs. And that is worth a lot of money to me. Okay, so I sell clothing on the Home Shopping Network. If I don't say this two-piece outfit is $49.90, how are they going to buy Okay, you're a guy, right? <laughs> Let's talk about the gender difference. If I go into a store and I go to buy something because I'm needing a dress, let's say, for the gala on Tuesday night, right? So I need a dress. I go in and I go to the store. If I find a dress that I like but there's no price on it, I'm not even going to try it on because I don't know if that's within my budget to buy it. So if I'm not putting my price out there, I'm not talking to people about here's what my time and attention and information is worth, they're going to just move on because sometimes they might think I'm too much. Sometimes they might think I'm too inexpensive. You cannot sell without some marketing. People have to know who you are and what you do, but you can't just throw stuff out there on the internet, hope people will call you, and then go, okay, I'll show up Wednesday at three o'clock. That's nice. And by the way, two weeks later, here's my bill. I don't get it. Well, the key to really good marketing, this is something a lot of people don't get because a lot of people go into marketing, there's fluffy bunnies and they want to be creative. Okay. That's not good marketing. Good marketing is coming up with a a good idea that makes sense to you, putting it out there and then measuring the results you get back. So in, for example, my marketing of my seminar business, I have over the years sent out millions of pieces of mail, spent millions of dollars. I am not going to do that based on hope. I'm going to do that by saying, hey, I'm going to spend 10 grand here and see what comes back. Measure that. And if it works, I'll do it more. If it doesn't work, I'm going to try something different. So always measure. That's fabulous. Okay. And now let me tell you why what you just said is fabulous. Everything in your life is going to cost you time or money. Mm -hmm. You have already put in the time 
and the money to send out a million dollars worth of postcards and marketing materials. I don't know in NSA that many people who've done that. I know I haven't. I know that I've done targeted mailing campaigns, but a targeted mailing campaign for me once or twice a year then needs a follow-up phone call, needs a scheduling conversation, needs a money conversation, and needs a closing conversation. So I don't think I don't think you can have one without the other. I don't. And you're just doing marketing. I want to come hang out at your office and see how you do that because I don't see it. I don't see how it can be done. It's, you know, it's just a question of measuring what generates the interest and my ideal, my target when I spend time and money on marketing is I want to get people calling me and saying, oh my God, I love that. Can you do it? And here, here, and usually what I will say is here are the dates I can do it. It's not them saying, hey, can you do it on this date? They say, hey, can you do it on this date? I usually say no. Okay. How long have you been in this business? 25 years. Uh Uh-huh. There you go. So in 15 more years, we'll have this conversation again and see if I agree with you. Right now, if you don't know how to sell, you are not going to make a living in this business. You've got to learn how to sell and you've got to learn how to sell yourself. I, I, the one thing I'd argue is if all you're doing is selling, you're out there pushing yourself into a space where people don't know who you are and they won't value you. If you want to get good fees, you have to be out there in the space where they know who you are and they are coming to you. So instead of pushing, they are pulling you into them. You're going to get much better fees if you do that. And that's, you know, that's one reason why, for example, it's very hard to get a bureau to sell me at my fee because if you don't know who, know who I am, my fee makes no sense. So that, you know, it's, it, you know, one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, do you want to play in that world where you're constantly pushing to get a lower fee or do you want to be in a place where you're being pulled in and maybe your sales skill would enable you to get a higher fee than I can because you don't suck at it? See, that's interesting because selling equals pushing. I don't think so. <laughs> selling equals providing value for someone who needs what you offer and you're the one that can deliver it. So if I'm calling somebody, I find out what they need, when they need it, if I'm the right person to deliver it, and then we have the conversation of how I can solve their problem. That is selling to me. And I think that just putting a whole mess of stuff out there marketing, while very important and everybody needs to be doing it, but without the sales piece, you don't have the closing, which brings in the revenue, which is what allows us to do a million dollars worth of postcard mailing. (laughs) If you don't have money behind you, honey, you can't, you can't run this business. People, it's funny, I'm seeing people getting into the speaking business, lots of them, who think, oh, I have a mouth, I can talk, it's free to get into it, I can do it from my second bedroom, fine, if they're lucky enough to have a second bedroom, right? However, you've got to have money to run a business, and this is a business, and a business without a sale isn't a business. I, I, I would agree 100%. And I think the most effective closing I ever do is, yeah, actually, I can do that. Would you be able to uh, do that meeting on October 18th? And that's maybe that's, you know, that's not very skillful in my world. That's, and I don't think of it as selling. That's me just agreeing, yes, I'd be happy to do them. I think the very most important thing when you are when you are marketing when you're when you're putting yourself out there is to understand that you are saving people time. When you talk about the sales process you're talking about, and I've I've tried that sales process. It's a lot of time, and the people I sell to, mostly CEOs, don't have that kind of time. They don't want to waste five minutes on the phone with me. What they want to do is they want to read an article and say, this is really good stuff. I think I could use this in my company. Give me a call, say, can you do it? And have me say, I can do it on October 18th. That's like two minutes instead of five minutes, and that's worth a lot to my clients. Well, Robert, you are 100% right. It is all about selling. Thank you for agreeing with me. <laughs> Carolyn, I have to say, it's really, I, I, I see your point. It, it really is all about marketing. Without marketing, you just don't have a leg to stand on with your clients. So thanks for uh, helping me figure that out. You're welcome. Selling is everything. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Marketing is everything. Marketing is everything.